Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with another update to the Nightmare on Elm Street Cadillac. And this past week I've been doing work on the body. And right here you can see kind of a before, other than the filler that I've put over the old door seams. But still got the old texture on it, still has door handles both front and rear doors. But here is the after view. And this old plastic actually cleans up surprisingly well. Uh, I was expecting it to be either much more brittle or maybe even spongy, but it cuts really nicely with the sandpaper and cleans up really well. So uh, that was kind of a pleasant surprise. Uh, I did have to add an extra brace inside the body to help things keep straight, but uh, I'm not going to use the interior the interior has shrunk and warped badly enough that there's no way it's actually going to fit back in here. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tinted glass all the way around and that'll just kind of take care of that visual imperfection. And for the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some ribs across the top and I'll put some filler at the corner where the top comes down. And then I'm going to laminate some textured tape over the whole thing to create the convertible up top look. And I think that ought to work pretty nicely. And the other thing I did was here on the back side of the grill, I cut a little notch just on the back side of that top edge there. And what that does is when I put it on the front of the car, it actually cleans up any little imperfections with that seam and also because this plastic has shrunk just enough these curves here at the corners are never going to line up correctly so instead this just kind of goes over top of them and masks any problems that happen there so that's where I am I think this will be ready for paint in the next few days so I'm uh, being cautiously optimistic about this actually being done in time for Halloween. So check back next week for an update on where it is, and thanks for watching.